Howdy boys, it's MVC and today we're going to be customizing the Bestia GTS because this car is so sexy and I really want to customize one. The Bestia is based on the Ferrari FF, super beautiful car in real life and a super beautiful car in the game. It's not a new car. When Rockstar first added this, they weren't on their like, you know, super hyper realistic car trend that they've been doing recently. This was added back in like 20, like 16 or 17 or something. And I just think it looks beautiful. Very close replica of the Ferrari FF. And we're gonna make this thing and we're gonna customize one so that it lives up to that potential. I think we're gonna go for the Euro bumper as opposed to any of these other ones. I'm not really liking how open like drift yeah it's the drift bumper it has like a fin and everything i don't think it's very clean on this car and uh this one looks like the giga chad chin guy from uh fairly odd parents so we're gonna go for the euro bumper it looks the most like the ferrari ff in my opinion engine upgrade we're gonna max that out for the exhaust we can do some oval exhaust as opposed to the dual exhaust i think it looks a little odd being angled like that but i'm also just like not a big fan of dual exhausts so I think we are gonna go with the ovals. For the hood, I think I'm liking how clean the smooth hood is. I wish this was like less of an indent and more of something that juts out a little more. We could always leave the stock hood on as well, but I think the front does look good with some lines on it. So we're gonna go with the smooth hood. For the lights, we're gonna zoom on those babies. For the plate, I'm gonna go with, maybe we'll leave it white for now. I feel like Ferraris never really have black plates. We'll come back to it though, we'll definitely revisit it. For our colors, we only have a primary color that we can change. And of course, this car is gonna look good in like literally almost every color. God damn, oh my God. A yellow would look really good actually. Not do yellow, that is doing it dirty. I've never customized this car in blue before and I'm kind of tempted. The neutral colors look good as well, like cream. Oh my God, hard decision. I think I was really liking that light blue from before yeah like if ferrari were to pick a blue it would be light blue or maybe like a saxon blue one of those two mm, i almost like the saxon blue a little more let's go with the saxon blue for a pearlescent let's see what we can do to this thing i think something bright would be nice but i don't want it to be too overbearing like this is actually that looks really good actually that looks so good oh but we could also go for like a bleached brown. It's a little more subtle. Okay, now I'm thinking the polish looks even better. But is it too bright is the only question. I don't want to go with any wacky pearlescent colors. I think it should just have a nice polish on it because that's kind of what Ferraris are known for, right? We're just going to have to go with Ice White. Oh my gosh, this is such a classic customization. I used to do this on all my vehicles back in the day. I would just pick a color that I liked and then throw an Ice White pearlescent on it. So clean. We can add some skirts as well. I'm not liking any of the carbon skirts. We could add the sports skirt. I don't think that looks too bad. Yeah, I'm kind of liking the extra, extra little details it's adding. For a spoiler, we should add a, okay, definitely not the mid one. Let's add the low level spoiler so we get the traction bonus. I actually like how it overhangs a little bit. It's like running parallel to this other line above the license plate. Gives the car some nice shape. For the suspension, do we want to slam it? Yeah, we'll slam it because it's not all that low. Mm, looks great. Transmission, max that out. Turbo, tuned. And then for wheels, I was thinking we could just leave them stock. This is not a vehicle you can do the stock wheel color glitch on because they're all chrome. But I have another Bestia that's red and I have the stock wheels. So I'm thinking we mix it up a little bit. I also haven't tried out any of the new rims. So I kind of want to see what there is, how they would work with this vehicle. I still want something clean though is the only thing. Oh my God, we're at one of those situations again where I would totally use the Forge Star. Oh, I got to unlock those. It's okay, we'll make do, we'll make do. Super Luxes look pretty cool. Okay, yeah, I don't think it's any competition. We're going with the high fives. A lot of Ferraris are five spoked rims. They're very like outstretched. Like you could totally see this thing in like the 488 Spider or something. Yeah, that looks super good. Um, Do we want to make the rims just black? Go with like a carbon black? Mmm, the car looks very aggressive like that. Interesting. Maybe we go with some slightly brighter rims or like even a gold or something to offset it. Dark Earth, 
I'm really liking that. I think the bronze is a little too, stands out a little too much. Dark Ivory I'm a fan of as well, but I th I was really liking that Dark Earth. I just landed on it and it looks beautiful. So I think that's what we're gonna go for. Oh my God, dude, this car looks so good. Okay, but if that's the case, I'm thinking maybe we go back to the respray and make the pearlescent a little like almost a little browner to match the wheels a little more because like look how crisp this looks it looks amazing but i think if we did something like cream or bleached brown it would match the rims a little more it would just help them be like it would help them synergize a little more i think the cream is what i'm liking a little more the bleached brown is is a little too dark okay yeah that's looking better already for our tires we are not gonna throw on any designs bulletproof those nope. though and we are not gonna throw on a tire smoke because it's a classy car for windows i think a light smoke would do it justice that is the customization oh my god it looks so good i would totally drive one of these in real life okay well sound test this sounds like how a ferrari should sound i think every grotty vehicle in the game i actually don't know if that's true but I feel like every Grotti vehicle in the game should sound like this. This is like the Ferrari sound. Oh my God, just, I'm speechless. I'm swept off my feet right now. This is so beautiful. But anyway, onto this car's performance. Let's not put it off any longer. Unfortunately, as much as I love this vehicle, it is very middle of the pack for a sports car. Not at all viable for racing if you're going to be racing in the sports class that is completely dominated by like the Italian GTO, of course. But it's not even close to the top 10. I think it's in like, when I say middle of the pack, I literally mean like in the 50s ranking wise out of like the 100 plus vehicles in the sports class. But that's okay. I think it makes for a really fantastic free mode driver. I would probably say this is like the XA21 which in case some of you guys may not know is my favorite vehicle, but of the sports class. Like it just, it drives really nicely. It handles well. It's not especially fast, but it has like literally no outstanding problems. It doesn't slide out on me. The acceleration is decent. It sounds amazing. It looks amazing. I have zero complaints with this vehicle. I guess it's not really like a drift car, but it's not supposed to be a drift car. And I'm just saying that because I did a customization recently of the Lampadati Komoda and it handles a lot more like a drift car even though it doesn't look like one. I absolutely adore this vehicle. Off the line test for you guys. Like the rest of this car's performance, it's just very middle of the pack. That was like, it almost seemed a little slow, but I guess I, you kind of just have to keep in mind that this is a very outdated sports car. It wasn't viable for racing when it first released into the game, and most definitely is not now. That being said, I still love driving this thing. It just makes my day better. Like, I, I don't really know how else to say. It, it's just a vehicle that, like, driving it lightens my mood, and it's such a nice feeling. If you guys are looking to grab one of these, you can find it on Legendary Motorsport under the two-door section for $610,000. It's pretty far down the list because it was added all the way back when Finance and Felony dropped, which is like a five or six year old DLC at this point. It's right next to the FMJ, which is on sale this week. That kind of maybe can help you guys spot it out. $610,000, not a whole lot of money in this day and age. This car is 100% worth your money. I promise you that. There's some cars that you'll buy and you're like, I don't know, is this really worth my money? So you'll be on the fence and you'll just have it sitting in the back of your mind. Like, should I be putting my money elsewhere? This is not one of those vehicles. A little over half a million is not demanding that much. And I just think it has stellar delivery. It's just like a, it's like a nice package. You know, it's not taking, it's not biting off more than it can chew. It's not trying to be the fastest Ferrari ever or like, you know, the coolest, craziest luxury vehicle. It's just a nice chill classy vehicle. I would definitely grab one of these if I were you guys. Usually I customize cars because they're like on sale, they have the spotlight. This car I'm customizing purely out of love and I think it looks fantastic. We killed it with this customization. Drop a like if you guys agree. Comment down below and let me know what you think of this vehicle. Comment down below and let me know what you think of my customization because I did such a good job. That is fact. No one can dispute that. <laughs> Sub if y'all are new to the channel. There will be more content like this coming out in the very near future. And that's about it for this one. So take care and I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace.